Comcast reported a 9% increase in first quarter earnings and provided investors with its first glimpse of results from NBC Universal. With us now on the phone is Thomas Egan. He is an analyst at Collins Stewart. He joins us from his offices in New York. Thomas, thanks so much for joining us this morning. You're a bull on Comcast because of the cable business. So is the strength of cable enough to offset the weakness in broadcast? Uh, well, it is. I mean, what we saw was that, uh, you know, for example, cable cash flow was up uh, about 7.8%. Uh, the NBC Universal uh, cash flow was flat, up, actually up about 4%. And net, net the company was up about 7.7%. You know, 7 so, so what we are seeing is that, yes, the cable, the cable systems uh, is able to offset the weakness in broadcast. And of course, the strength uh, 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 in the cable networks as well. Uh, you mentioned the broadcast, and I want to focus on that weak spot, if you don't mind, because it was down 35% if you look at sales. And we know the CEO, Steve Burke, I mean, he has to come up with a hit, right? That's his main job right now. Can something like The Voice do it for them? Well, you know, we, we are seeing glimpses of improvements. So, so, for example, if you take out the Olympics of 2010, uh, what we saw is that revenue was actually up 4%. So we, we are seeing growth if you take out the Olympics of, from last year. Did GE sell at the wrong time then, if, if traction is beginning to be shown, as you say? Uh, well, I, I guess... Uh, uh, Probably, in the sense that it was probably some of the weakest numbers at NBC when they sold. So it certainly was was not the best time. Let's talk a little bit about film. NBCU film division, of course, includes Universal Pictures, 8.2% decline in quarterly revenue. I mean, I know you're a bull, Thomas, so I just have to go through all these weak spots. How much of a concern is that to you? Well, the, the, film, the film business is cyclical, and a universal film has not been, a, 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 isn't a, a, one of the top, you know, three or four studios. I guess the question is whether there's any, any synergy with a film division and a cable system division. I think the answer is we don't quite know yet. Uh, we saw from Warner Brothers that they, they decided to sell the, the cable systems. Uh, so what we have seen um, so far, though, early is that uh, the, the, the box office from Hop was strong. The box office from Fast Five was strong. The question is how much of that is based on the, the promotion out of the cable systems. So, but in general, you feel like Comcast is still a best in breed, even for bondholders. I know it's still rated, uh, you know, triple B here. I mean, bondholders can take just as much solace in these results as equity holders. Well, uh, I think that again, net net, net the, the numbers were pretty good. You know, 7.8 percent cash flow growth overall for the overall company. Um, I, you know, it trades below Time Warner Cable. Uh, and cable vision. So uh, I think that uh, it, it is one of our top picks. All right. And one thing that you want to see, Thomas, before we let you go from the company that's going to ensure that you stay bullish. Well, I guess the question is their long-term strategy on programming and, uh, and how much will, will they spend uh, in the NBC unit? Okay. Thomas, we thank you very much. Of course. Thomas Egan joining us there. He is an analyst with Collins Stewart joining us there on Comcast results. You heard him say the big question going forward is programming and how much the company is willing to spend to get ahead.